Hello everyone, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on estimation. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to do the BBS or the bar bending schedules of columns in MS Excel. So first of all, we have to know what is bar bending schedule and why it is used. Bar bending schedule is basically determination of the length and quantity of reinforcement accurately so that we can procure them properly at the site and execute our works without any problem. So that's a brief introduction to bar bending schedule. We'll get to know more about it. So in today's video, we'll show you how to calculate the bar bending schedule of the footing. So suppose we have this format which you can prepare for yourself in MS Excel. So it's basically uh, item description footing F1 then the reinforcement of the longer span and the shorter span. So let's understand what is the longer span and the shorter span, why uh, we have you know made this uh, like this. So we have footing, suppose say we have footing F1 and uh, as you can see which is which one is F1, let's first you know uh, check how many F1 are there. This is F4, F3, F4, F4, F2, F5, F1. So this one is F1 only 1 and 2 F1 we have. So we'll just uh, number of footing in number of footing we'll uh, write as uh, 2 and this one also shorter span also we'll just write as 2. So next thing is uh, the uh, diameter of bar in the longer span and diameter of bar in the shorter span. So let's check out the size of the F1. So we'll check out for the uh, footing schedule in the structural drawing. Here is the footing schedule. So basically F1 size is 1400 into 1400 meaning it is a both side are uh, of the same span and depth is 400 and reinforcement along uh, both the sides we have as 125 mm center to center and that is a 10 mm reinforcement. So uh, we can write here dia bar as 10 mm and along the shorter span also we have the same dia bar because this is a square one. And next thing is the number of bar which we'll, we have to calculate and uh, for calculating the number of bar we need the length of the bar. So for the length of the bar we need the bending length of the bar. So if you have, if you're working in IS codes you can check out uh, this IS uh, 2502 1963 and he here we have given the uh, particular uh, shape of the rebars which has been used in the particular footing. And you can check in the structural drawing as well that that also must be given here. So as you can check here, this is the arrangement. So 10 mm uh, center to center at the rate uh, at a spacing of 125 along this and same along this. So this will be the arrangement. And if you cut a section, so it will go upwards like this. So we have this length, which you can call as A and this one, which you can call as B and this one, which you can call as C. So what is the length of this this thing? Uh, minimum length of uh, this particular hook or bend as per uh, your IS Indian standards. Let's check it out. Here we can go upwards as you can see this is representing B. B is uh, representing the bend allowance. So we'll go up to table number 2 and we'll check out for the 10 mm bars what is the minimum B. 10 mm bars and bend allowance for the cold steel bars cold work steel bars and for the 10 mm bars minimum bend allowance is 75 mm so you have to give more than 75 mm so if it's mentioned in the structural drawing how much bend allowance we need to give so you can provide as per that if it's not mentioned you can uh, provide anything any value more than uh, 75 say 150 175 so we're going to go with 175 so this one we are going to go with uh, 0.175 and uh, this one also will be the same as this and uh, this B now how to calculate this particular B so this this one is B so the footing size is uh, let's say your 1400 that is uh, 1 1.4 and we have a cover the cover of the footing which we have as you can check here it will, should be written in the notes of the structural drawing the cover of the footing is 75 mm so we can you know deduct a cover from both sides if you can show you the diagram so we are basically looking at this length so so if this 
here we have a cover of 75 mm and here we have a cover of 75 mm we can deduct these particular these two things from the uh, 1400 so minus 0 0.75 into 2 we will get the length of the B so it should be 0 0.75 mm so 1400 should be 0 0.075 mm and into 2 so this is the length of the uh, bending length of the B and the number of bars which we are going to uh, calculate from the 1400 to 1400 will depend on the length of the bar so the length of the bar we could, will be equals to we'll do the sum command sum and we'll just add this three things and press enter so this is the length of the bar in meters this as this everything is in meter so the number of bars which we have so for calculating the number of bars we need a spacing we have the length of the bar and we have the total length and we can you know uh, actually obtain the particular number of bar here so we'll also going to do this same as ever because you know both the shorter and longer span are the same here since it's square but if it's not square if it's rectangle you can uh, insert separate values in it and this one also you can just copy this and now number of bars which we are going to which we can give is equals to we can you know use the command round up because we don't we want a whole value and uh, we are going to go with this so so we are going to go with this value this span value because like let me show you if we have this footing so if we are going for this particular span so this particular reinforcement will you know be placed like this one two three four five six seven eight like this so the, since this is square it is it actually doesn't matter which span we are taking but uh, in case it's a rectangle then we should uh, you know take care that way if you are uh, uh, if you're calculating the reinforcement for the longer span then while calculating the number of reinforcement we should take the length of the shorter span and respectively but since here both are the same so it doesn't matter uh, which side we are taking so divided by the spacing so if you go by the structural drawing of the F1, you have the spacing of 125 center to center. So we are going to go with this divided by 0.125 and we can do comma 0 and close the bracket. So we have obtained uh, the number of bars which will be used in the uh, longer span. So since it's a square, so it should be the same. So we just uh, press this equals to this value and the total length of bar can be the length of the bar multiplied by number of uh, footings or foundations which we have. So there is 2F2 so there will be this into this. So another next thing is weight kg per meter. So weight in kg per meter we have a simple formula you can see that they check out the derivation of it which is d square by 162 in which d is in mm so here d is this one and d square divided by 162 and we'll simply obtain okay so we have an error here just close this so this is d square by 162 so this is the weight per kg per meter you can also insert you know brackets here if you want and uh, similarly you can also calculate for this and you can also calculate for this as well so now the total weight in kg will be your weight in kg per meter into the total length of the bar so like this you can calculate the total weight of the bar and drag it downwards so now you have calculated the total kg of reinforcement which will be used in F1. So this is the 10 mm bars we are talking about. Now similarly you can you know check out the structural drawing and you can you know calculate the values or the BBS of the different footings F2, F3, F4 and F5. The process is similar you can do this and after you obtain this you can just you know calculate the uh, total weight of the 10 mm bars which you are going to use so for the total weight you can simply you know add all the 
values of the 10 mm bars which we have and if you have any different diameter of bar like we have 12 mm bars and 10 mm bars which are used in the footing here so if you have any different uh, bars you can also you know uh, add that and if you want to you know calculate the number of pieces of bar you can uh, simply find out the particular weight using the unit weight you can do that let's check it out you can simply use divide a particular this particular value with the weight of one reinforcement into 12 so this is basically this will be basically this total weight divided by the weight of one bar so for finding the weight of one bar you have to multiply it by the unit weight into 12 because the length of a reinforcement bar is 12 mm the length of a reinforcement bar available in the market is 12 mm sorry 12 meter so 12 meter is the length of the reinforcement bar which is multiplied by the unit weight that is uh, kg per meter and you obtain the weight of a particular bar and if you divide it by the total weight you will also find the number of pieces so like this you can find out the number of pieces of bars so this is the you know process a very simple process of you know finding out the bar bending schedule for our columns for more such videos stay tuned to our channel and if you want to join professional training you can contact us using the number which has been given below. Stay tuned to our channel guys for more such videos. Bye bye.